Today we're gonna to talk about four ways to get absolutely free inventory for your Amazon or eBay business. So these four tips on getting free inventory for your business, I have done each of them, some of them more than others. And the first one I'd like to talk about is Craigslist. I know a lot of people may not know, but Craigslist has a free stuff section in which they give away all kinds of inventory. Now, some of these things cannot be sold online, but a lot of them can. I know I've driven, grabbed books, I've grabbed CDs, DVDs, just, just about anything you can think of. I've gone on the Craigslist, I've looked at the free stuff section, and I have definitely been able to grab free items that I've been able to flip online. Now there are also websites like FreeCycle and such, but on those you agree that you're not gonna resell the items. So I stick to Craigslist because there is no agreement that you're not gonna resell the item. And I have made tons of money off of free stuff that I've gone to Craigslist and just asked for the free items. Sometimes I'll hold it for you. Sometimes it's first come, first serve. So you have to kind of be careful of how far these things are from you because if they're really far away, you don't want to end up out of your way and the items are already gone. Another way to get free stuff is yard sales. I know that most people in a yard sale, they just want to get rid of the stuff. They're really not interested in the money. A lot of them are. But a lot of people just have a whole bunch of stuff in their garage or in their house. They're just trying to get it out. So one strategy that I've used in the past is contact people at towards the end of the day and say, hey, I will come by, pick up whatever you have left and take it to the dump for you for free or I'll use it or I'll donate for you for free. I'll pick it up. And then you go to their house, you grab everything. If you have a pickup truck or something like that, you grab everything that they have, you go through it, you see what you can fix, what you can sell on eBay. If there are books, maybe you can sell things on Amazon and you just got free inventory. And if you can't sell something, maybe you just take it to a thrift store and donate it there. But either way, some of the items you're going to be able to sell, some of the items you won't, but the inventory is 100% free just takes a little bit of your time. I'd only recommend this if you don't have enough money to buy inventory because this can take a lot of time out of your day. Now the number three way to find free inventory, some people are gonna say it's okay, some people are gonna say I hate when people do this and that would be dumpster diving. If you have to check out your local laws to know, but some areas, once an item goes into the trash can, it's anybody's game because they don't want to throw everything away. They'd rather someone go find a use for it than to just put it in the landfill. And some areas you're able to dumpster dive, but something like a Walmart or a Target and a lot of these stores often throw away tons of good items. So check out your local laws and figure out if you're able to dumpster dive. Some laws will say an item has to be locked into the dumpster or there's other kinds of rules so check out your local law and see if you can find some items dumpster diving i know perfectly good items for sale brand new in the package get thrown away into the landfill every day so for some people dumpster diving not only helps their pocket because it's free inventory but it also helps the planet because it keeps a lot of things out of the landfill so I want to get into the fourth way to get absolutely free inventory for your online businesses to be Amazon and eBay. And this one I find is one of the best deals that you can make and one of the best ways time wise to get free inventory. And that is start approaching booksellers. So start approaching your local book sales, start approaching your local thrift stores and try to become their sole seller of books. And what I mean by that is approach them and offer a split 50 50. Show them a book that is selling, they're selling for a dollar, but maybe online it's selling for 30, $40. And then tell them what you're doing. 
generally people are not going to want to manage these things themselves but what they will do is they will do a split with you and let's see how you structure this deal you say something like i notice that you have all these books selling through you're selling them for about a dollar and i notice some of these are worth 30 or 40 dollars online what i would like to do is scan all your books before you set them out i'd like to set up an account with you with amazon and then manage your book selling manage your book selling then you create a contract depending on your state and you become their sole manager of book sales so what happens is books come into their back room you scan them all before they go out to the front for selling for a dollar or two you take out what's profitable and you split the profits 50 50. they're going to make more money that way Plus, you get to make more money and you don't have any of the risk, any of the overhead. Often they will give you space in their facility. They'll give you an extra laptop if they have one available. And often they will have some kind of Internet connection. So literally, you can go into the back room, set up a small staging area, stage the books maybe once a week. And once you've gone through everything, you let everything else go out to the front room. This is one way to eliminate competition at that store so it actually gives you free inventory you don't have to pay for it in advance you split the profits the establishment is happy about it you're happy about it the people who are not going to be happy about this is other booksellers but you and your business will do better the thrift store or the library they will do better also because they're going to make more profit on an item that they can sell a textbook for fifty dollars and they'll split that half with you than they will if they would have sold it for a dollar or two in the store. So this will be my number one pick for how to get free inventory because this gives you a constant source where you can go to this place every single day and you know that they're going to have a fresh selection of books. You know that you can help their bottom line. You help your bottom line and you avoid risk of holding inventory. Thank you guys very much. Have a great day and make some money using OA X-Ray. Please like and subscribe, and if you have a question about Amazon, put a comment down below, and I'll make a video about it as soon as I can.